The question is, what protections do you actually have if this invisible system comes under stress? Imagine a financial system so large, it rivals traditional banking, yet operates with almost no rules. By the end of 2019, non-bank financial intermediation, what regulators call shadow banking, held about $200 trillion in assets, nearly half of all global financial assets. This network includes hedge funds, private credit, and complex derivatives. Unlike your local bank, these institutions have no deposit insurance, no lender of last resort, and little transparency. When Lehman Brothers collapsed in 2008, it was the freeze in short-term repo lending, a core shadow banking activity that triggered panic across markets and forced emergency intervention. Today, the sector is even more deeply embedded in the financial system. The question is, what protections do you actually have if this invisible system comes under stress? Most people assume their money is protected by layers of regulation and insurance. But there's a vast sector of finance that operates outside those boundaries. The world of shadow banking. This system is made up of non-bank financial intermediaries, hedge funds, private equity firms, money market funds, and a complex web of investment funds and derivatives markets. They perform many of the same functions as banks, but without being subject to the same oversight. The scale is staggering. According to the Financial Stability Board's 2023 report, non-bank financial intermediation held $217.9 trillion in assets by the end of 2022, accounting for 47.2% of global financial assets. That's nearly half the entire financial system, and it's all happening mostly out of public view.